Hello viewers, this is Just Fake Network TV, a place where you can get the latest information about Nigerian news. And now the news in details. Trouble looms for Sawolu as Nigeria Hami finally opens up about who ordered them to Lagos. Trouble looms for Sawolu as the Nigeria Hami finally opens up about who ordered them to Lagos. The situation between the Nigeria Hami and the Lagos state government is getting tough. So many pointing fingers, and yet no one is taking the blame. No one is ready to take the fall for heat. Everybody is playing safe. Sawolu and the Nigeria Hami may be at loggerhead with one another for the new statement released by the military. The latter had confessed that it was the military that shot at peaceful protesters at the Lekito Gate in the 28th of October 2020. The former now admits that the government of Lagos State, which is headed by the governor, Gov Governor Sawolu, be beckoned on them to come and take control of the entire protest situations in the state. And this is coming after several deniers. Before his interview with CNN, Sawolu are silent, was silent about who shot other peaceful protesters. But during the interview, probably due to the fear of Visaban being summoned, by International Criminal Court and many other possible jeopardizing reasons, he admitted that the shots were fired by men of the Nigeria Army. The Nigeria Army before now had also backed out on allegations that they were responsible shooting. They said that they were not even in the scene when it happened. They also said that they never got involved with the protest nor the protesters. But yesterday, probably because Sawolu said it was the military. They have also come out to say that the Lagos state government called for the intervention. The truth is gradually coming out and justice would prevail soon. It lies between the governor of Lagos state, Sawolu, to say the truth, or the Nigerian military will gradually bring out the truth. The implication is that Sawolu acted as though he did not order for soldiers to intervene. And the soldiers are now saying that it called for the intervention. Up until now, I cannot believe that it has lingered for a week and nothing serious has been done about it. The general is still in his office and post. The governor is still serving also. No more for impeachment or any actions against him. I believe that this revelation by the Nigeria army would trigger a form of justice and that the trouble would be coming to the governor of Lagos State. I urge the governor to come out clean now before it gets too late. He should state all he knows about the shooting. Pressures will continue to be mounted on both the Nigeria Army and the governor. The truth shall prevail. More trouble for Songwolu if he does not speak the truth now. Well, so viewers, what is your own take about this? What do you think? The reality is that uh, even if it, it wasn't Songwolu that actually ordered the Hami to be at the toll gate, like Ito gate, I am very sure that he will know who is behind the whole atrocity for that day. That is the way I see it. Because even if the governor asked them to come and maintain order, did he even ask them to shoot the innocent ones? That's a question. And another thing is that I don't think Sawolu could actually be the one to order them to come to Lagos State because I don't think he has power over the military army. I don't think so. But what I am saying is that there is every chance that Sawolu knows about who is behind uh, the person that ordered the army to come to Lekki Togate. That is just my own think about this. And it is better for them to speak up, to tell the whole world who is behind the Lekki Togate. Let's hear people's opinion. They said it is better for this guy to come out and tell everybody he was the one that told Hami to come and shoot the peaceful, well-organized 
focus enters protesters are the lucky aja target in fact i would not be surprised if eventually is found out that he never carried along his deputy and other esco members before he instructed the army to shoot the protesters they said he gave, who gave the order to shoot an armless protesters is what we don't know and we don't know who invited the soldiers to use tear gas, water cannon, rubber bullets, police anti-riot squads, and all of that. The, re the reality is that, let's just be real to ourselves, the fact is that eh, these people, they know how to play their games. As far as Nigerian leaders is concerned, they know how to play their games. So who well, cannot even say that he does not know who is behind it, even if he is not the one that hacks the army to, to shoot at the toll gate. That's just the reality. But and many people were saying that uh, he should respect himself, resign and go and sit down in a Koyi prison. This issue is about common sense. Let's agree Governor called for the intervention, has been seen in all the parts of the country where soldiers protect, protected protestants certainly. He cannot order them to shoot at the protestants. However, I blame soldiers who refused to use their common sense. Soldiers are supposed to protect innocent citizens. Soldiers are supposed to secure the state. But it is just so unfortunate that our armies, our soldiers, our police officers that we have in the country, instead of them to secure the citizens, they are there to bring out insecurity to citizens. They are there to harm citizens. And that is just the reality about that. And the fact is that all these people that we're talking about, they are trained to kill. They are trained to kill. Nigeria Army, they claimed it was fake news that their presence was ever seen at the shooting venue. And you can imagine. Now they said they were invited. So which means we all know that no soldier's dear race is gone and shoot unless they have been directed to do so. Which means to tell you that one of the prominent leaders directed them to do so. And at the same time, the removal of cameras prior to the actions, it's another evidence on its own. I'm telling you the truth, and I don't see how they can get around it. Going forward, back and forth, apologize, pay compensations, and remember there is, hey, there is nemesis that will catch up on none of them. Because the innocent ones that died on the spot, can, can they rise up again? Can they rise up again? But it's just so unfortunate that our president is just there, muted, saying all these things, and no action is, be th is being taken against the governor. Which means that if the president cannot even charge the governor of Lagos State, or if the president cannot even query the governor of Lagos State, means that President Muhammad Buhari knows about it. That's just the meaning. It means that he knows about what happened at Lekito Gate. So viewers, what do you think about this? What is your own take? Kindly drop your comments in the comment section below. For those who subscribe, we want to say a very big thank you to you for subscribing. We say God bless you. If you're yet to do so, kindly press the subscription button below. And also please don't forget to press the notification button so that whenever we upload news, you will always be the first person to watch our latest news anytime, any day. 
Thank you. Stay safe.